All right, breaking right now, the penalty phase for of the trial for Joseph Zeiler is underway. Zeiler killed a little girl and her babysitter in Cape Coral. Now a jury will recommend the judge if he should live or die. Wink News reporter Claire Galt is live now in the Lee County Courthouse. And Claire, what's happened so far? Nicole, this morning the state made its argument as to why Joseph Zeiler deserves to die. Now, Thursday night, jurors convicted Zeiler of murdering 11-year-old Robin Cornell and 32-year-old Lisa Story in Cape Coral in 1990. The state attorney now wants jurors to agree that the murders Zeiler committed were so cruel, so evil, that life in prison is not a grave enough sentence. Now, prosecutors called Jan Cornell, Robin's mother, and Randy Richard, Lisa Story's fiance, back to the stand. Cornell told jurors how Robin's death has affected her, her family, Robin's classmates, teachers, anyone and everyone who knew the little girl. But we've lived in fear. We've lived in sadness. My daughter, Jeannie, Robin's sister, has never talked about it for 33 years until she came into this courtroom and she saw everything about that day unfold. And she didn't do well with it. She ended up in the emergency room the other night. Richards reminded jurors who Lisa was, a fun, kind, caring woman with a bright future. He told them what life without Lisa has been like for him and for Lisa's loved ones. It affected them greatly. What do you mean by that? Her mother, uh, you could almost see the deterioration daily with her mother. She, uh, her mother was also a, an outgoing individual. It was kind and fun to be around, uh, just a true joy to be around. And after the, the incident, she just backed away. I mean, just would sit and stare blindly and blankly into space and just... Lisa was just um, someone that not only did I love greatly, but everyone loved her greatly. Her impact across society was unbelievable. The defense now has to convince the jury that Joseph Zeiler deserves to live. They'll then come up with a recommendation of life or death. Now, Florida's new death penalty law does apply in this case. That means it'll only take a recommendation of 8 out of 12 jurors for death for the judge to consider it. Live at the Lee County Courthouse, Claire Galt, Link News.